Hi guys, and welcome back to Let's Play Shadow of the Colossus with me, Oaks Foo, and we just beat this son of a bitch. This guy who is either the easiest guy in the world or the hardest bastard to keep down. <laughs> um, and I cannot remember for the life of me who, who is next. So we're just going to sit tight and find out who. My next foe is... Oh. Oh. No. No. Oh. Well, guys. Kill me now. We get to go fight my least favorite Colossus in the entire game. This guy is by far more annoying than any other boss that I've ever fought in any other video game. Except maybe as a kid in Legend of Zelda the Link to the Past, when you're fighting those sandworms that come out of that come out of the um the well the sand to attack you in, I think it's the second, the second dungeon. <laughs> but again, that's as a kid, because once, yeah. once you know what you're doing, they're the easiest thing in the world. But this guy. Oh, you guys have no idea. Hmm. This is actually, most of the videos where it's going to take more than one episode to beat a boss. I'm gonna leave it as multiple episodes. This might be the one... Wait, why did we go left? This might be the one exception to that, just because yeah. this guy takes so goddamn long yeah. for me. At least he did. <laughs> Watch. With my luck, he's gonna be the easiest yeah. thing to beat, just like that last guy was. Oh. I'll show you once we get there why this guy is such a pain in the ass. But no, like I said, like I was saying last episode, I've been getting into, um... Ooh, let's go for the jump again. Is that like that? Oh, actually, actually, I found out something. You can actually get more apples and more lizards if you go over here. And why not, you know? It'll help. As you can see, there's a lizard, and I can now show you guys what these lizards... What is what is up with these lizards? Oh, there he is. Right, so the lizards, you can shoot these guys and eat them. But... And the ones with the white tails will give you... As you can see, there's a little glow around our grip. Our grip that'll boost our grip to... I don't know how much. But it'll boost the grip, which is, which is pretty useful. And now... The first time I tried to get these fruits, I failed horribly. Well, let's do it anyway. Alright. Alright, hopefully... Oh, yeah, there they are. Okay, we're good. <laughs> Eat them, fill our health, and extend it. Okay, that, could, that time I could actually see it being extended. We'll just call down aggro and... Just keep running. <laughs> but no, like I was saying in the last episode, I've been getting into The Clash again, which, I mean, I, I absolutely love The Clash. I think their first album, London Calling, was probably one of the best albums ever. <laughs> I mean, yeah, there's not there's some songs on it that aren't good, but it's also a, an album that has like 20 songs. So for every song that's not good, there's pr pretty much a song that is good. I mean, I just think they're good. Like, there's nothing more than that, because... Yeah, they're... They're they're punk, but they're so much more than that, because they didn't... They didn't just do punk. Like, one of the funniest stories I think there is that is that in Jamaica, there's the Hall of Fame of Reggae, and... Uh... The Clash is the only... <laughs> they, they're the only people up there that are white. <laughs> 
I mean, I think that's just hilarious, but it's also awesome because they did do reggae. They did reggae. They did punk. They did rap. They did ska. They did rock. They did. They did hymns. They did um, ballads. They just did everything. And I've just been having them on my on my mind, like, yeah. like I've just been singing their songs all day. Like, I was singing something about England earlier, which isn't one of their more popular songs, but it's one of their better ones. Um, I mean, not to get not to not to put down anything about their other songs, because all of their other songs, the popular ones, do deserve. Well, their popularity, like, what is it? What is it? Um, rock the Kashba. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Shari don't like it. Down, 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 down. Rock the Kashba. Rock the Kashba. Shari don't like it. Down, 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 down. I just love that bass, though. Yeah. Oh. Do you mean we have to go across this place? Son of a bitch. Oh, that's right. Now I remember where this guy actually is. I just thought we'd go to the. I just thought we go to the desert and we found him here. No, we actually get to go a lot, a long way out of the way, actually. Um. Hmm. I'll have to see how long. Ooh. <laughs> well, that was. <laughs> Good thing our horse doesn't take falling damage. It must be a monk or a rogue or whatever it is. I don't play D and D enough to know what it. Is what it is that doesn't take falling yeah. damage. Isn't it like a monk, if you're within like five feet of any surface, you don't take falling damage? Yeah. Well, I mean... Yeah. Except the ground, of course. But like, if you're fi like within five feet of a, w of a vertical yeah. wall, you won't take falling damage, or it's halved or yeah. something. Yeah. Something ridiculous like that. <laughs> By order of the prophet, we ban that boogie sound. Degenerate the faithful with that crazy cash by sound. But the Bedouin they brought out, the electric camel drum, the local guitar picker. How do we get up there? With this guitar picking thumb. As soon as the sherry had cleared the square, they began to wear. Sherry, don't like it. Rock the cash bar. Rock the cash bar. I just, again, I just, I just love that. And it, like I said, I've been listening to a lot of madness, and they're the most ridiculous, the most ridiculous songs um, that I've seen. Not even just the songs themselves, but the night, but the um. I almost said the song I was talking about. The videos, um, like I was watching this one boat video, Night Boat to Cairo, and it just starts off with these two guys buried into the, in the sand up to their necks with ping pong balls, and they're like, ready, 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 go, and they spit it to see who goes first, or see who goes farthest, and then just one of them's like, Night, Night Boat to Cairo, and then it starts off with these guys in front of this hideous looking green screen. You can tell you can tell that they're not in Cairo at all, but it doesn't matter because they're just dancing around and having loads of fun. And I mean, that's all that Ska is anyway. I mean, that's all that Ska is because it's not that serious of a musical form. Watch, someone's going to punch me for that. But it's not. I mean, it's it's fun. And there's nothing wrong with it being fun. I mean, if anything, that that's one reason to to have music because it's fun. Because it's oh wait, what's that? I saw a glow. I'm not sure if it's oh, it's just it's just the texture of the wall. Oh, I'm an idiot. All right, we finally get to this cave, and I can stop ranting to you guys about the clash and start singing for one second. <laughs> and what's this? What's this? What is this over here? Yeah. 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 Oh, that's just a something. It's not yeah. important. Hmm. I wonder yeah. where the Colossus could be. Oh. Maybe this cutscene will tell us. 
couldn't be that black cloud of smoke now, could it? Of course not. <sighs> and we see this guy. The frickin' Sandworm. By far my least favorite Colossus. My least favorite boss out of any video game. And you'll see why. Alright, so this guy will go through the sand towards you. Basically like a fish in water. Basically like the Colossus from two from two 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 Colossi ago. And he'll chase you like this. Now you're gonna want to get out of your bow, because in order to get him up enough in order to do anything, you have to shoot at his eye. And if you get it right, which surprisingly enough I did that time, he will run into a wall, and you can go and jump on him, which I need to get out my sword. And let's, oh come on, let's not screw this up. This guy is so hard to actually shoot in the eye and get up here and stab him in his weak spots. And this is actually... I keep goddamn, jin goddamn jinxing myself. This is the easiest that this guy's ever been. It usually takes me half an hour just to get to the first one. And if he keeps being easy like this, I'm gonna be done with this guy before we're even out of time. Which again, will be absolutely ridiculous because I'm talking about how hard these guys are and then they're easy as pie. <sighs> Alright, where is he? Oh, he's right here! So basically what will happen is you're going to want to charge across one of the long parts of the room until he starts surfacing like this. Now, eventually you're gonna reach the end of the room, and if you do, you you want to watch out because he will charge into you and dive right before the wall, which will do a lot of damage to you. It'll take away like half your life. And also he'll hit you if you don't get out of the way before he does that. Uh, which will also take away quite a bit of life. But that's basically it for his attacks and how he moves. Everything else is pretty much straightforward. Well, everything else, he doesn't do anything else. Um, like, he'll do a little belly flop right before the wall. That's the other thing. But other than that, he's pretty much straightforward. Now, the head one will take a little more time because you have to... Oh, here's, here's the weak spot. This weak spot takes a little more time because you have to climb up, actually climb up his body. And this is where we might have to take two tries to actually do damage to him. Maybe not. We'll have to see. Oh, let's see. Come on, come on, get that last hit in. I don't wanna I don't wanna do this guy again. Oh, we're not even close enough. What the hell? Or maybe he'll just stay this way until you take care of his weak spots. I'm not sure. Oh, no, there he goes. Maybe? No? Oh, I guess he'll just stay there until he takes you take care of his weak spot because they the programmers weren't dicks. Big enough dicks to make him decide to free himself and actually live. I mean, that's pretty lame, but I'm thankful to all hell that they did that because... Like I said, this guy usually takes me like half an hour, which I am absolutely appalled that it took me like... <laughs> it only took me like five minutes to beat this guy to today. Oh, that was disappointing. But anyway, guys, um, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Take it easy.